Hey guys, Nick Horton here in the Iron Samurai, and this is another episode of Weightlifting Academy. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed, I shaved my head. Now, a couple days later, gay marriage was legalized, so in honor of that awesome event, I'm now going to dub this look the straight bear look, because it looked kind of like a, a bear, but I'm straight. This is Aaron, and apparently he can fly, and he wants to show you how to fly two so i'm going to show you how to do what i'm calling the jackknife jump and stomp move or drill and uh, that's because when you're in the air i want you to look like a jackknife of some kind or at least a knife and then when you stomp well you're going to stomp it's not really complicated in terms of why i called it what i did and it's not complicated at all uh, in terms of what you need to do however there are some specific details that you must do in order for this to be teaching you what i want it to teach you most important thing is when you jump up into the air on each rep, you need to flex your quads and your booty as tight as you can and keep them flexed in the air so that you have this straight body thing going on. I don't want to see like a dolphin move where you're like, like way back like that. That's just the butt. Uh, a lot of people who are beginners, they try to kettlebell snatch everything. Uh, if you don't know how to use your butt, well, that might be an error that I would be okay with with a ranked beginner who's never used their butt before. But once you move past that beginner phase, I do want you to be able to use your quads maximally at the same time as you use your butt. You should be able to do this. So this is your goal. You're going to jump up in the air and flex your butt and your quads as tight as you can the whole time you're in the air. When you land, you need to land hard. So I should hear a stomp coming from your feet off of the platform. Most of the time when you're being taught jumps in any other athletic context, you're being taught how to land softly. And there's obviously good reason for that. However, in the Olympic list, that's not applicable because you need to be able to stop a heavy barbell that will be over your head eventually from crushing you to death. So I want you to learn how to stomp hard and be rigid and tight the instant you hit the ground. So that's the combination. You're going to jump up into the air as hard as you possibly can. And when you're up there, you're going to flex your quads, flex your butt, Keep your body perfectly straight, so you're not bending back like this. You're not donkey kicking behind you. It's perfectly straight. And then when you're going to land, pop, and you're going to stomp real hard, and you're going to be super duper rigid. You're not going to move at all. That's the whole drill. Jackknife, jump, and stomp. It's going to get you better at exploding with your lower body and then controlling yourself as you hit the ground. This is not exactly the way a snatch is, but... It's pretty damn analogous in some of those basic skills that beginners suck at. So I want you to get really good at these underlying foundational athletic skills so that you can apply those athletic skills to your Olympic lifts. So again, I'm going to go one more time because I think sometimes it's useful to see this a couple times in a row. When you jump in the air, flex your quads and your butt and keep them that way. When you land, land hard. <laughs> 